Hey everybody, welcome to my studio. Um, I was working along today on my new album, writing for my new album, and I got really excited and I wanted to post about it and, oh, that would be cool if I could just do that little floating head thing. And um, so here I am doing the floating head thing. This is the view of my studio that I look at while I'm in the writing process, the creating process in the studio. And um, I wanted to invite you in for a minute so you could actually see uh, some of that process. Um, I also want to tell you a little bit about my new record. Um, the idea for this record was given to me in that just before waking state. Um, I get a lot of ideas and things in that just right before I wake state. And sometimes in the dream space as well, but often when it's in the dream space, it can be lost on waking, but when it's just before waking and I get these ideas, they stay. And I have a feeling my muse knows this and will try to talk to me right then. The idea that was given to me was to write songs for different spiritual practice, different sacred practice. And it's kind of hard to describe um, but that's the closest I can get to describing it. And one of the first ideas in that um, thought process, in that creative process, was to write a song about the mandala. And I don't know if you're familiar uh, with the mandala. I picked one out for you to look at. Um, this is a beautiful example. Mandalas um, are a a, a sacred work of art. The making of them is sacred. They are made with sand. Um, the ancient ones. Now there are a lot of modern interpretations of this, but in the Buddhist tradition, uh, traditionally they were made with sand. And you'd have to go through extensive training uh, for a few years uh, before you could actually make one of these. Um, and what you see here is basically all the teachings of the Buddha and um, a journey to enlightenment encompassed in this this art. The symbolism is very complex and multi-layered and just beautiful. And can you imagine the detail that would go into making this with sand? It's just amazing. Traditionally also four monks would work at a time in different quadrants and um, the quadrants are represented here. Each of the quadrants represents different elements, different uh, directions, and different wisdoms, sympathy, equanimity, loving kindness, and compassion. And these are four gates. And also there are uh, spaces made for different uh, deities. Um, so that's just a little bit about the mandala. And to say the least, it was incredibly challenging to think about writing this song, a song that would represent the process, the flow of the mandala, and what it means to me. Um, Buddhism is, is central to my practice these days, and so it was with great humility that I took on this project. Um, but I, I prayed a lot about it, and I said a lot about it, and I did a lot of research, and also inspiration started to come. And so I want to play a little bit of this for you, and I also want to talk about the creative process, because I'm right in the middle of it. These are not necessarily final tracks. This is a writing session that I'm letting y'all hear, so these are not final vocals. Um, there's still going to be a lot of change left, but I, I still wanted to share with you because I'm really excited about the idea. So I'm going to let it play through the introduction and uh, the first chorus, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about um, where the inspiration for this came from. Peace. 
don't get mad at me for interrupting but um, it's not finished yet and uh, so so I want to talk a little bit about the process so right now I am working on the instrumentation in the chorus and um, let me just play you a little bit of oh and by the way making a video on the computer that you're actually recording on, the recording software is on, is much more complicated than I realized when I started this process. So the sound is weird, I know, and I'm sorry about that. Um, I had to just like plug in a microphone and go. Otherwise, this wouldn't have gotten done today and probably wouldn't have gotten done at all. So I hope y'all can bear with the sound quality a little bit. Anyway, so here's the strings of the chorus alone. wanted to stay with kind of an Eastern feeling in this song, in this interpretation, but at the same time, I really wanted to express my heart. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm a Western child. Um, I have grown up watching epic movies and listening to epic soundtracks, and I would go to the symphony with my mom. I love the big strings. I love the big sound. And that often is where my heart is at and especially with something this intense the mandala and and all that it represents when i started to be inspired by the melody that was coming to me in the chorus i really wanted to feel that that big heart opening swell that strings can can bring and now I'm debating if I should open it up a little bit more with some synth to give it a little extra padding. So here are the strings and the synth combined. I just added this this morning, and when I did, it was like the final touch that really got me excited. <laughs> Yes, it's a slightly different voicing of uh, the chord as well, which adds another element um, that I really like that, that is really supporting the vocals there. And um, also, I'm going along with a very heavy percussion in the verse. And uh, you can hear a little bit of that. I will solo that. very big heavy and when it got to that moment of the course I thought you know we're in a different space now we're kind of in this heart space so I wanted to bring a rhythm that was more heart centered as well and that's what you hear here um, I'm gonna solo a little bit of the heartbeat kick drum that I have in this section
that sound is the perfect kind of heartbeat rhythm for the bass, and that's in the chorus. And here is um, the top part of that groove. With then there's a little break there in the middle, um, which gives it a, a, a nice dynamic swell as well. All these lines are, I actually put this groove together using different tools. And that's why you see all these lines. Once I put it together, then I loop it and um, get it to, to uh, repeat through the chorus, just like I like it. And, uh, and then I also had some cymbal swells here. You can hear them, or cymbal crashes. This is a favorite crash sound of mine, and you'll hear it in a lot of my recordings. So let's listen to the whole chorus again with all of those elements. So that's the beginning of the second verse. You can hear those lyrics. Sacred Maid, which is so true. The lyrics were, that the reason why I sigh when I said lyrics is because this has been so challenging, lyrically speaking, because the mandala is very complex. Um, it says a lot. The teachings are very deep and I didn't leave myself a lot of room for a lot of words, um, so I needed to very um, quickly say, or very simply say, uh, convey a very complex um, practice. And um, but for me, the music is speaking to that. So, so I hope uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I hope it's not too crazy and it makes sense and uh, I was just so excited I'm so excited about this record I'm so excited about the upcoming tour and to be able to play this song for you and I'm excited about the fall tour with Renee and Suge and Linda that's gonna be amazing and um, you can get if you want to know where we're gonna be playing uh, this summer and this fall you can go to gingerdoss.com slash shows and you'll be able to see where we're going to be in all the details and get tickets even if you want and um, love to see you guys can't wait uh, to be there with all of you and um, have an awesome summer we'll see you soon <laughs>